Today, I want to be sharing my overnight experience in a mobile tiny house in Japan. This is a collaboration between Kengo Kuma, the famous architect who designed the Tokyo Olympic Stadium, and Snow Peak, one of Japan's top outdoor brands. I'm only here one night, but let's enjoy this cool, tiny, minimalist home together. This is Hakuba Village, Nagano Prefecture, where the 1998 Nagano Olympic were held. While checking in, it was difficult to suppress my excitement. Since it's getting dark, I will explain the small house in detail tomorrow morning when it's brighter. But right now, it looks like this. The orange illumination inside looks very cool. So, let's go inside. It's really simple. The moment I entered, I felt like as if I had entered the tea ceremony room. The tiny house is made of cypress plywood to give it lightness and strength. I'll introduce the amenities included, double-sized mattress, towel, and heater. The mattress is just placed on a simple platform with a light under it. This platform also allows you to sit and relax like this. There are snow peaks jackets. You can use it freely. The rack hooks can fold in when not in use. There are chairs and tables. It's well made and I can comfortably relax on them. Other small supplies are these. I'll turn on this light. When I was relaxing, I heard some noise from outside. Then I found that a hot air balloon event was being held. A colorful balloon floating in the clear night sky. The scenery was so beautiful that I didn't think it was in Japan. I'm looking forward to breakfast at this fashionable restaurant tomorrow morning. After that, I'll take off my kimono. Silk kimonos are not washable every day, so it's good to dry them like this after wearing them. I got a free hot spring ticket from Snow Peak, so I'm going there. When I was back in my room, I took out a free beer from the fridge and enjoyed a relaxing time while admiring the beautiful outdoor scenery. Good night. Well then, see you tomorrow. At 6 o'clock in the morning, I took my time getting up today. When I opened the curtain, I can see a completely different view from last night. Mr. Kuma, who designed this small house, said this about this window. I was focused on the design and wanted to make the outside scenery the leading role. The cut of the window was to be interpreted as a picture frame to see scenic views of nature. 
This window design was inspired by a Japanese tea room. In the Edo period, the tea masters thought that the window in the tea room would have a different view of the world and create new values within the room. That may be one of the reasons why I thought it was like a tea room when I entered this room. So, let's borrow this jacket today as well and go for a walk. I was so excited that I jumped into the snow, but it was hard. Didn't sink at all. The toilet and shower room are located inside the Snow Peak store, so guests can use them at any time. Okay, I'll take you to look around the mobile home. It's really cool that these roofs and porches can be folded. But I couldn't move it because I don't have a special tool for it. Now I'll go to the fashionable restaurant for breakfast. I'm so excited! Okay, I'll check my body temperature. It's 34.2 degrees? Am I dead? I tried to believe that my forehead was getting colder because of the low temperature. I sit on a simple and cute chair and have a cup of crimson tea. Now I'm the happiest man in the world. And here is breakfast. I couldn't stop eating because everything was too delicious. Purple rice is a rare rice that can only be harvested in this area. It was so delicious that I had to refill it. I was happy enough with this food, but even more happiness came. Dessert! To be honest, I was so surprised because this breakfast was more luxurious than I thought it would be. After having a great breakfast, take a hellish water shower. I'm gonna hold the kimono. When I do it, I always feel as if I'm folding origami. Finally, it's time to make matcha. I boil water and prepare it. This window is supposed to open, but it froze in the snow and won't open. This porch is the best size to make tea. My butt was a little cold, but outdoor matcha in the snow was the best. After visiting this mobile tiny house, I came to think I want to live in this kind of small tiny house so bad. I'm really glad I was able to visit here and really enjoyed it. I also hope you enjoyed watching this video too. There was a Starbucks in the Snow Peak facility, so I'm gonna do some work there today. Stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!